Hello everybody, Toe here and welcome back to another episode of our Subnautica campaign. Where we last left off, we first crash landed on the planet. Uh, we then proceeded to do some exploring for a little while. I had to look for sulfur, that was fun. Um, but I did manage to make uh, our repair tool. And we fixed up our pod. Uh, however, it seems from my own guessing that... Uh, we are not going to necessarily get help. However, we can potentially look for other survivor, uh, surviving drop pods in the ship because we did fix our radio, so that is a plus. Uh, for the time being, however, let's see real quick. If we go to the fabricator, I don't really need any. There's cured and then there's cooked. What's the difference? Okay, so it lasts longer than just cooking it. Good to know. Alright. Not deployables. I don't think it's impersonal. Well, actually, it might be. Repair, scanner. Because what I'm looking for is habitat builder. So, I'm going to need one of these. Because it seems I'm definitely going to be here for a lot more permanent stay. Obviously, if I could get like rescued almost immediately, then wouldn't be much of a game, would it? So, I guess our first priority is looking for the materials to create this, so we'll go we'll go by steps. Let's see if we can find what we need for a computer chip. Uh, resources, electronics, computer chip. I have everything but copper wire, and I should just be able to make that, because I have copper in here. Okay. I got plenty of copper ore in my inventory, actually. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Resource, basics. I can make glass. Alright, let's get that. Alright. Computer chip, that's knocked out. Alright. We got a battery. Okay, what else do I need for this? I need a wiring kit. Wouldn't be equipment, would it? Probably not. Electronics, wiring kit. So I need I need silver ore. Okay. I think that just requires me basically just going to a cave. Uh let's see here. What can I just dump off? I wanna keep these creature eggs for later. Alright. I really should turn this into rubber. Rubber lubricant. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep it for now. Alright. Uh, start. Wonderful. Uh, I'll feel safer with a knife in my hand. <laughs> uh, it's funny to think, though, that they literally uh, outlawed weapons in this game. It's like, except the knife. The knife is like the only exception. Oh, man, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> Gotta find outcroppings. In fact, it's probably best to look for caves. That's my guess, anyways, is that caves equal higher chance of finding silver. However, caves also equal higher chance of, like, being violently murdered by explosive fish. Uh, I would get those bladder fish. I don't really need them. Okay. I've been in here before. I'm not gonna be able to see anything. Well, I guess we could just look for some basic outcropping and see if we can find anything there. Until daytime hits, though, I really don't want to risk going into any kind of caves. Oop, wait. Bobber. Not useless. Ah, titanium. What is that? Limestone. Titanium. I don't need titanium. I need silver. And I don't know if it's in caves, uh, specifically. Man, you just fly out of the water. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Man, it's hard enough to find these things, like, by itself, you know? Ha, there's one. Alright, what is this? Uh, the only reason I'm taking copper is because it's more valuable for electronics. Like, I know I'm going to need more copper wiring later. Alright, how about you? Titanium, I have plenty of that. Copper. Okay. No. Nope, the game's playing tricks on me. Hmm. Just keep swimming. Anything? Anything at all? No? Alright, well, let's head back to the pod for a moment, make some, some wiring. We might even try and make an external storage space. Oh, it's the water, alright. Uh, I don't really need another mid kit, so I'm not worried about that. Let's see here, we got some titanium, some copper. Alright, what do I need to make a personal storage space? A waterproof locker. Some titanium. Alright. Advanced wiring kit. Interesting. But I still need silver. Which is a problem. Actually, let's try and deploy from out here. There it goes. Is it? Why aren't you floating? Look, that's cool and everything, but why aren't you floating? I mean, okay. I would presume it to float. Get towards the surface. What have I done? What have I done? Where is it? Okay. Get up there. You're supposed to float. Like a good flotation device. Oh, hello. Hold on, my radio's going off. It's poison whale. Or manatee. Hello? Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Oh. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. PDA. Alright, real quick, do I got food I can eat? Rotten? Oh no. Old cooked peeper. I can still eat it. Hmm, alright, that's good enough for now. Hey! And it's in the shallows, but... Actually, real quick then, let me take a look. Can I build any faster modes of transportation in this? I'm pretty sure I can't. This is a life, or this is a mini fabricator. It's a mobile vehicle bay. There's a sea glide. I don't know what I need to build that. Okay. Well, might as well continue on then. Here we go. 
swim, my boy. We have to go adventuring for silver. Another creature egg. I'd love to pick it up, but I really got to hold off on that for the time being. You know, we could just head over there and have a look. Real quick, any perchance silver? Nope, plenty of quartz. I don't really need quartz right now, though. Any silver for an entrepreneuring diver? No. What are these? Lead. I don't have any of that. Yes! 30 seconds. Oh gosh. Oh! Oh please, no! Oh, run! Run for the surface! Oh gosh. How could this have happened? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh man, uh, inventory real quick. Uh, do I have a med kit? I do. Alright. Good thing I carried one of those on me. Um, well. Now I apparently have a supply of sulfur as well. Is that a creature egg? Okay, maybe it's one of those explosive little bastards. If that's the case, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'll put that thing in a tank. Any more silver? Oh, plenty of copper. Oh, look at this. Plenty of sulfur. I can potentially use this at a later date. 30 seconds. Yep. Alright. Uh, swim. Swim towards the surface. Alright, guys. That went pretty well. Let's, let's start making our way back to the pod. Ugh. Oh. Seriously, good thing I freaking brought a med kit with me. That could have... Oh, that could have been really sad. I could have had a really bad day there. Just keep swimming, my guy. Alright, real quick, first things first. Grab that new med kit. That thing... So good. Alright, resources. Wiring kit. And I only got the one silver, but I'm happy with that. Okay. Floating air pump, that's not what I need. Flare. A scanner? I could make one of those pretty easy. Ah, yes, I need to grab that computer chip real quick. Hello. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Where did I put that microchip? Oh, there it is. I was a little worried there for a second. Like, I know I put it up. Alright, Habitat Builder. Sorry about that. The Builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, I need to go grab some more bat- or some more mushrooms. Gotta get that acid. Okay. Uh, nope. Oh, electronics. Make a battery. Tools. Alright, scanner. Good. So, and I... The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Yes. Do you equip? Do I think I... Okay, good. I didn't just throw it away. Okay. What? Oh, no. Okay, it's just gotta stay there, I guess. Alright. Um... Real quick, I need to catch something to eat. I need to eat some food. Uh, a peeper sounds about not... Peeper. Peeper. 
Good. I'll scan you. Boomerang. Good. Boomerang. I'm, I need more food. And then there's a peeper. I'm gonna eat you as well. I need some food. Uh, here. Uh, substance cooked. Give me. Give me a cooked peeper. I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, overstuffed. And then we'll have we'll have a bottle of water. Gotta stay hydrated. All right, let's start heading over to that pod. Cause now I have a scanner, so I can make the most out of that adventure. Uh, they did say that they had some mode of transportation, sea glide. Uh, I don't know if the sea glide, cause you know you see like uh, I've seen a little bit of this game. I don't know if that's uh, the little handheld one or if that's the. I think the sea moth is the first like actual vehicle that you have like a pilot seat. Just don't want to get jumped. I don't care about the poison manatees. As long as I don't go over there with them, they're fine. Oh, wait. I just remembered uh, the uh, that the Aurora is supposed to detonate at some point. Let's have my knife out. I feel safer with my knife. Not the bladder fish. All right. I found their escape pod. No, go away. What's that? Uh. Integrating new PDA data. I can build a compass. New blueprint acquired. I can see why the hell they were trying to leave. Yeah, why would- oh shoot. I really gotta try and build a bigger tank. It's one of those little shark things. Uh, I wanna investigate real quick and make sure there's nothing around here that I'll miss. Sea glide fragment. Alright. Hello? Okay, so the sea glide is the small one. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can find a se second fragment. I don't know what this is. Lead? Salt. I need salt. But I want some preserved food anyways. I don't really want to cut the creep vine though. Can I scan the creep vine? I can't. Oh, there's more of, the, more of you than I was expecting. Another salt deposit, actually. Ah, oh, I don't want to leave without making sure I got everything. Real quick, I gotta get some more air. I think I saw a box. Is that a box right there? Sea glide fragment, yes! New blueprint acquired. What is this thingy? Hoverfish. Alright, um... Metal salvage. What is this going to do? Scattered wreckage. Alright, perhaps it is best that I simply go home now. There's a lot of dangers. Oh, I kind of want to scan this thing, though. They, they collect scrap. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's getting nighttime? Oh, hell no. Let's uh, start getting away from this place. I wonder if it's going to explode in the dark. That'd be kind of cool. Knife out. Actually, we could scan anything passively that we run into. That's always an option. Nothing's followed me out. Let's scan some mushrooms. And some table coral. Ooh, 
uh, poisonous manatee. Gas mm -hmm. Stop resisting. Get back here. There we go. You're being difficult for no reason. Can I scan the little fish? Or they're just too tiny. It seems like they're too tiny. Uh, scan a bladder fish. Have I already scanned them? I guess. Salt deposit. This thing. Oxygen. There we go. I knew I could get it. I made it. I made it. It's fine. Oh, hello. There's the aurora going off. Emergency. The quantum detonation has occurred in the aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical survivor in two months. You have your work. The exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to go here in two months. much so appreciated. Oh, what the hell? Well, any hope of using that thing to get home is long gone. Wonderful. Well, I'm guessing that I don't necessarily need to use the radiation suit unless I'm trying to get close to the Aurora. That planet is moving remarkably fast. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. Oop. Radio. Land pre-recorded distress call. This is Life Pod Six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Let's get an idea on where we're looking at. Do I not... Do I not have an idea? Huh. Oh, random bird things. Okay, uh, well... The Sea Glide. Battery, lubricant, and copper wire. That looks easy. I've got the copper wire, the lubricant. I just need to make a battery. Which I just did. Uh, so I just need to go get those materials. Let's see. So, lubricant. And... I'm scatterbrained sometimes. Copper wire. So I need... I need to make copper. There we go. Yes. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. Oh yeah. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Yep, we'll do. Come on. I want to take this off my my hot bar. Okay. Why are, why are you there? Hmm. Uh, actually, we're gonna turn this thing into water. Sorry, bladderfish, but I've had you for long enough. I want water. There we go. Gotta drink some water. Survival knives in my inventory, repair tool, scanner, all checks out. I, I can't stick that in there. For some reason. 
That's already repaired. What's, what's that about? Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Food's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take an extra bottle of water. What I should probably do is make an additional battery for this thing. Need to get some mushrooms. Alright, let's go get some mushrooms real quick. Uh, let's not use that just yet. Oh, I can scan this. Can I take it? No. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna make the additional battery on the sea moth. Yep, yep. Uh, equipment. Compass, copper wire, wiring kit, and a radiation suit. Fortunately, I've got the lead already. I need to make fiber mesh. Not sure what exactly I need for that. An additional battery. Is that another radio transmission? Hell yeah. Land pre recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. They don't look like they, or they don't sound like they landed in a very friendly spot. Stranded in your cave system and under attack. Hmm. We might be able to do that. Since we have the sea moth, or not the sea moth, uh, the sea glider, we might be able to do a journey like that. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna get some more food. We're gonna salt some boomerangs or something real quick. Hello. Come here, you. I need you. I need to salt you so you're good for a longer journey. Is there any, uh, bladder fish around here by any chance? Um, not that I see. Oh well. Come on. Uh, let's, let's see, let's see. Uh, fabricator, resources, no, substance. We're gonna cure some, some boomerangs. Alright. And what else? Uh, I'll probably take my second bottle of water. I'll leave some of the creature eggs here. So that way I've got some inventory space freed up. Oh, there's a bladder fish. Come here, you. I'll take you for later. Alright. Let's go. And I this is exactly why I built that second battery. So I can travel faster. Man, it feels good. I never used one of these in real life. I was never opposed to the idea of it actually. So depending on where this is, we may or may not uh, continue on our course. Uh, this is the red spot. That means, ooh, what is that? Ah, shoot. Use the sea moth. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Okay. Where is that piece at again? Real quick, I need to self scan actually. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Listen, Shark Thing, I need to scan that room fragment. And you 
are in the way of that. Let me have that room fragment. 30 seconds. Ugh. I need to wait till he gets out of the way. I'm kinda tempted just to go for it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It just wasn't loading. Are you like posturing or something? Ah, oh, screw it. I'm going for it. Well, integrate new ADA data. All right. I'm not going to lie though. My Medical scans show a nearby cave entrance. Uh, Depth 90 meters leading to an unknown environmental biome. Yeah, I need I need the sea glider for this, like Then I need a bigger oxygen tank. Alright, let's make this as fast as I can. I gotta scan whatever's in here. I gotta bounce. That looks like part of the sea mob. Scan that real quick. Anything. I can't scan anything there. The rest of the sea over here, right? I shouldn't run into any leviathans yet. Sea moth? Bioreactor. Uh, not the worst thing ever. Thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm looking for that sea moth. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What? Oxygen. Hmm. All right, let's see about going in here. Not repair that. Look, sea moth. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? There's got to be more fragments. How about that? Is that a sea moth fragment? Yes. I need one more. Just one more. Come on. Man, I always get those screwed up. Nothing. Um. Ah, oh shoot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me the sea glider. Oxygen. Yes, I'm aware. Oxygen. Look, I'm so close to getting it. I I, I want to keep looking. It's like right there, right on right on the cusp. Let me take a look at this. Lead. I didn't have much of that anyways. Sea moth. I really want this thing. <gasps> yes! My persistence has paid off. Yeah. Alright, this whole thing is worth it. I'll have to come back here if I can find this place at a later date. Uh, if nothing else, because there's potentially more, uh, equipment in there. Big place. Um... Oh no. I don't know if I know where my pot is. Well, I have a general idea on which direction it is. I'm fairly confident I can find my pod. It's gotta cross this little kelpsy. Yeah, one one small mercy from this game. Uh, where am I? Where the hell am I? There's my pod. 
That looks very dangerous. I don't want to go there. In fact, I'd like to get to my pod. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, shark thing. This actually might be my chance to scan them. How do you feel about having a picture taken of you, shark thing? I don't remember if I scanned you. I think I, I, I ditched because it looks very dangerous. I did not scan you, stalker. Get back here. Look, I understand you're upset. Seconds. Just let the picture happen. Now fly away. Zoom away. Okay. Overall, I'd say that was a very successful expedition. We now have access to the sea moth. Now the question is, I have to find out where I want to build. Ah, oh, here's the uh, the uh, the red seagrass biome. Uh, but I have to figure out where it is I want to build my base. I'm thinking in this area, actually, like on a higher air, on a higher uh, piece of terrain, because it's kind of in the middle of everything. You got like the calm area. You got the uh, uh, the creep vine biome. You've got the red grass, obviously that you're in. And then you're off, you're really close to that little mushroom biome, whatever the hell that is. So yeah. Seems like a decent idea to me. Any radio transmissions? No. Uh, I have access to plasteel ingots. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Equipment. Doesn't look like anything's changed. Tools. Propulsion. Laser cutter. I unfortunately don't have the knowledge on how to make that. Okay. Deployables. Mobile vehicle bay. I'm Maybe that allows me to also uh, cut my way into a... Uh, what's the word? Or maybe this will also allow me to create the sea moth. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe you only need the bigger stuff for, like, the submarine, essentially. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's what we're going to call it. Pretty good progress today, all things considered. I did spend a decent amount of time just looking for uh, silver, but we did, in fact, find it. And we even went to a couple of escape pods, and we managed to fully acquire a sea moth. Or, well, we managed to put the pieces together on how to build it. So, pretty happy with that. Um, next episode, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll actually start trying to make that base, who knows. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me, let me know any, any tips, anything that maybe, uh, maybe would make this a little bit easier, because I, I don't know that much about this game, to be entirely honest. Uh, and yeah, so, until next time, have a good one.